G'day guys and welcome back to Ados the Great YouTube channel. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about two Papua New Guinea players that I think could make their NRL debut in 2023. Now these two plays respectively come from the Cowboys and the Dolphins. And I'll tell you what, both of them played really well last week in their trials. Now none of them have been named in this weekend's trials, but I do expect to see a lot more of them in 2023, especially if they continue playing the way they did last week in reserve grade. So starting off with uh, the Dolphins second role, we've got Jeremiah Simbikin. Now, last week in his trial match, he had 60 run meters, 19 tackles, zero misses with zero errors. So defensively, he is a beast. He proved that last year in the Queensland Cup, and I think he proved that last week in his trial with the Dolphins. Now, he, in 2022 in the Queensland Cup, he played 16 games. In those 16 games, he had 13 tries, which is crazy for a second rower. He had 10 line breaks with three line break assists, 433 tackles at 92% efficiency. Again, that is crazy good efficiency. That defensively, he is a beast. So that he averaged about 27 tackles per game. On average, he ran for about 90 meters a game. So when you're looking at it, you know, if you showed me stats of you know, nearly a try a game, um, 27 tackles, 90 meters, 90% tackle efficiency, like I'm thinking you're talking about like a Liam Martin or something like that. Obviously, I'm not comparing Simbikin to Liam Martin because they are two extremely different players. But like if you were like guess the player and told me these stats, I'd be like, man, there's that stats of like a Liam Martin, like a solid defensive player who can score a try. Simbikin, uh, he fits those stats. So um, I'm very impressed with what we saw from Simbikin. Uh, so again, he stats last week in limited minutes, 60 meters run with 20 of them being post-contact meters, 19 tackles made with zero misses and zero errors. So he can hold onto the ball and he can tackle like a beast. So I think um, whether the Dolphins decide to play uh, Simbikin this year or if you know, maybe he doesn't stay with the Dolphins and he leaves to go to another club. I don't know. But I definitely think he deserves and should get uh, his debut in the NRL this year. Um, yeah, I just think, you know, he's a quality second rower with um, plenty of skill. He can offload. He can put people through the gap. We saw that with his line break assists. Ten line breaks as well in 16 games is not bad for a second rower as well. So he's definitely an attacking weapon and a defensive weapon. And I think the Dolphins would be crazy not to give him a crack in first grade this year. All right, next up, we've got Sylvester Namo. Now, Sylvester is currently in the Cowboys system. I believe he signed a train and trial deal. I'm not too sure whether he's been upgraded to the top 30 but he did play for the Hunters last year. Now, before I get to his trial stats, which I must add were phenomenal, he had in the Queensland Cup last year for the Cutters, he played 16 games, scored three tries, 24 tackle breaks. So he's making more than one tackle break a game. He's nearly making two a game, so that's crazy. Um, he, re he had 353 tackles over the season at 87%. So again, not as you know as efficient with his tackling as a player like Simbikin, but still very good. Um, Attack-wise, he was a beast. Uh, I didn't actually write down his stats for um, meters gained, so I do apologize about that. But when you see his meters gained in the Cowboys trial match, you'll see why I hype up this bloke so much. So last week in the Cowboys trial game, Sylvester Namo ran for 202 meters. 62 of them were post-contact meters. He had 25 tackles with zero misses. So when I said he's not as defensively, you know, the de if defensive efficiency wasn't there in the Q Cup, it definitely was in the trial because he made zero misses off 25 tackles, no errors. He is a beast. So I definitely think he is another player to watch out for. 
So guys, that was just uh, a little bit of a chat I wanted to do with you guys today. Let me know in the comments, do you agree, do you disagree with these two takes? Um, if one of these two players does make his debut, I probably will chuck him into um, my fantasy later on in the year. I think that, um, you know, the, even if they play limited minutes, I think they'll grow a lot in um, fantasy. So I definitely think Jeremiah Simbikin and Sylvester Namo, do let me know if I'm pronouncing those names wrong, are definitely two players to watch out for for Papua New Guinea in 2023. And Papua New Guinea fans, tell me what you guys think. Do you agree with this take? Do you disagree? You guys would know more than I would. But uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for tuning in once again. Don't forget, guys, um, grab your NRL jerseys through Onyx Classics. Uh, the code for them is in my bio. Uh, sorry, in, in, in the description. You get 10% off using code ADOS10. And if you spend over $100, you also get free shipping, guys. So go and check it out. Onyx Classic, it will be in the description as well as the tickets to the charity match, which I will be playing in in a week's time. So go and check all that out, guys. But that is going to wrap it up for me. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And as always, my friends, I will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.